Thank you all for coming this afternoon. I have the pleasure of introducing Chris Kai. Chris Kai is an entrepreneur, international speaker, and an Amazon number one best-selling author of Big Game Hunting, Networking with Billionaires, Executives, and Celebrities. Please welcome Chris Kai. Thank you. So you all ready for the best speech of your life? Yes. <laughs> we have that guy in the center who has finished his Japanese lunch, so we're ready to go. <laughs> All right, so my speech is called Catapult Your Career Opportunities, The Art and Science of Building Successful Business Relationships. So if your goal is to knock on Sundar's door today and say, hey, dude, I want your job, this is the speech for you. If you want to go to Larry and Sergey and say, hey, did you really have to change the name to Alphabet? This speech is also for you. It's all about how do you rise up the ranks in your career company or industry. So Michelangelo once said that the greatest danger most of us face is not that we aim too high and miss it, but we aim too low and reach it. And here are some really troubling stats that I found. 87% of people, according to Gallup polls, don't like their jobs. They call it disinterested or disengaged, where they're unmotivated, they're not passionate, and they just some of them even hate their jobs. Newsweek said that 71% of Americans are either overweight or obese. So when I say in my speeches, I want to encourage you to aim higher in your life. This is the reality, but the future could be if you say, hey, Chris, my dream is to write my own book one day. My dream is to travel all across Europe, all across Asia. My dream is, again, to be Sundar or Sergey or Eric. And so if you want to do these things in terms of aiming higher in life, the best way to do that is to change your relationships in your life now. The best way to change your life is to change your relationships. So what I'm going to do today is go through five specific things on how you can go about building these strong relationships. Because at the core, it's all about those relationships. So when you hear things like, oh, Chris, networking is about who you know. No, networking is about who you want to know. And it's not about, oh, i got to work the room. It's about finding the right rooms to work. So this is based on a book I wrote. People always ask, Chris, you wrote a book about networking, and you called it Big Game Hunting, Networking with Billionaires, Executives, and Celebrities. And I said, yes, I did, because Maya Angelou once said, when you learn, teach when you get give. If I grew up middle class in New York City, my mother was a school teacher, my father was a case manager, I grew up with no access, no money, and no connections, but somehow I figured out how to secure these very large clients that make $100 million. Or bring in Elon Musk to the worst part of town to interview him, I want to know that I can share things that I've learned over time because I wish someone wrote this book for me. And I had a mentor named Fred Joel years ago when I said, hey, Fred, I want to scale my company. What should I do? And he said, Chris, don't be shooting at rabbits if you want to hunt big game. Don't be shooting at these little opportunities. If you really want to scale your business, you have to hunt big game, which is aiming higher, which is why the concept of big gamer is just someone that you want to be like. If you want to write a book, that person that's an author is your big gamer. If you want to be CEO, that person is your CEO. If you want to travel the world, that adventure is your big gamer. So focus on the people you want to be like, because in time, you'll be that person. So we all know that networking is important. But based on science, your network is literally the number one best predictor for your career success. I was kind of shocked when I actually read about this guy, because he actually studies networking. <laughs> he like, studies networking. It's called network science. And he found that fundamentally, there's two paradigms. The old paradigm is you're in certain clusters. So for instance, I'm from New York City. Anyone from the East Coast? New Yorkers? All right, cool. So I grew up in Woodside, Queens. So that'd be my first cluster. I'm only hanging out with people in Woodside. Then I went to Catholic school, so I'm only hanging out with Catholics. And I went to St. Mary's Elementary School, which is I'm only hanging out with people from there. The new paradigm is, well, if I'm a Catholic, do I know other people who are Muslims, Jews, agnostics, atheists? So it's about branching out from your just singular clusters, like a neighborhood and school and, and, and religion, and going out to other areas of life that aren't like you. They don't think like you. They don't look like you. And so the beauty of this open network is this. And I'll give you a specific example. So I used to work for American Express at 40 Wall Street in New York City. So I was a corporate guy, go to the office, go to the cubicle, build presentations. And then now I'm building out an online training program where I'm totally online now, where I'm literally, 
I have 27 clients I'm working with where I'm building out how do you create this brand to create a price point that you want to be a great speaker around the world.